It's time for Over There with Morella Rostroffer. Morella is our European correspondent. She joins us weekly. She is in Switzerland. I'm, 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 ta- I'm saying that. I'm being definitive. She's probably has gone someplace else. Um, and um, I'm going to say, hi, Morella. How are you? Where are you? Hi, Jill. I'm uh, very well. And yes, uh, back from um, from Italy uh, and talking today uh, about Germany and Switzerland. Some very important things have happened during this weekend. As you remember, Jill, we talked about the marriage for all um referendum uh, for uh, last uh, weekend in Switzerland and as uh, I really predicted with no difficulty because all the polls were um, pretty clear about uh, this question, the marriage for all has been accepted with a very comfortable majority, 64.1% uh, in, uh, in, the, in the country. Um, it is uh, by all means a huge victory and one that uh, cannot be discussed because the result is, um, is very clear. And that gives now uh, many people the possibility to marry, uh, which was already the case in uh, most of uh, our uh, neighboring uh, countries. Um, And that also gives the possibility uh, uh, for adoption uh, and it changes everything also in terms of uh, uh, legal situation for um, inheritance and, and for uh, rights on, uh, on children. Uh, this is a big, big uh, game changer uh, for um, this community. The other referendum that was also... Uh, um, had also an overwhelming majority is one that has been refused with 64.9%. And this was about um, reducing tax on salaries and increasing uh, tax on capital. The idea being that um, the party that proposed this referendum wanted to tax Uh, the capital of uh, people investing or uh, of people having money without uh, getting that as a salary, but basically possessing money. Uh, And they thought that it would be fair to tax that uh, more because in their eyes, this was not, that money is not due to real labor, to real work, but it's basically capital and it's money working by itself. Um, Again, that is uh, their opinion. Uh, Apparently, the Swiss population uh, did not uh, think the same way as it has been refused with 64.9%, almost 65%. Those were the results for Switzerland. Uh, But now let's move on 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 Germany, which as uh, everybody knows, had uh, some very important election this uh, last weekend. Um, it It is about the party, the next party that is going to lead Germany and also about the next chancellor that is going to replace Angela Merkel after 16 years of um, her being um, the leader with her party, the CDU. Um, There uh, has been a result. It is unfortunately not like the results that we got in Switzerland uh, this past weekend where it's absolutely clear. It is um, very tight, but the uh, opposition, uh, the, the, the SPD has won with a difference of 1.6%. That really shows, uh, in all honesty, that the country is really basically uh, split in half. 
but he won uh, Olaf Scholz, the candidate of the SPD, won. And um, it the, the moral compass would would uh, ask to have him as the next chancellor since uh, his party won, even if it's only 1.6%. Um, and he would have to basically build a coalition. That is always the case in Germany. One party basically doesn't, in, in the past years, never won enough to be just alone on top. And uh, as you know, the last coalition was actually the SPD and the CDU from Angela Merkel. Uh, but this time it's going to be the SPD and most probably two other parties that have also won enough seats to be able to offer uh, the majority that is needed to uh, to lead the country, which is uh, 368 uh, seats. Who are these two parties that all of a sudden becomes so important? Um, it is the Green Party that uh, came right after the SPD and the CDU as a third party. This is definitely also a very, very big win. Um, the people who chose to vote for the Green Party are younger. Um, one also, it, it has some logical aspects to that. Uh, but the fact that they uh, won with a percentage of 14.8, giving them 118 seats, make them really very important in the next uh, coalition. Um, the next party that will also uh, eventually be part of uh, this new government is the FDP which is a, a party center-right, uh, very pro-businesses, um, um, would like also to, to restore some debt restrictions, etc., but has also some uh, interesting program in terms of social um, advancement. Um, it's uh, it's the first time um, actually since the, the 50s that it's probably going to be a coalition of three parties instead of two parties. And that is also interesting because it, show, it shows that um, uh, the society in Germany, like in many other places, has evolved in a society where um, they, they are um, different needs. Uh, that means that uh, there is a, a need for some kind of a social safety. Um, there is an increasing need for uh, climate uh, in general and environment uh, issues. Then, of course, we have uh, uh, economy and um, the handling of the pandemic probably also played some kind of a role in all of this, but actually not um, a very major one. Uh, so it is going to be led by a three-party coalition. Now, the question is really to know who's going to accept to be part of that coalition. And now the talks are beginning behind the curtains. Um, I believe, for example, that the Green with Annalena Baerbock and the FT FDP with uh, Christian Lindner are going to meet first to see probably how they can get along themselves as the two small parties, um, the Green Party being a little bit more um, leaning to the left and the FDP, FDP a little bit more leaning to the right, uh, but still having, it, it, that's the interesting point, having um, some common 
some common points. After that, they will uh, meet with probably uh, the, the, the future Chancellor Olaf Scholz from the SPD in order to agree on, on a program. What is interesting is that the CDU, that is the party of Angela Merkel, is not completely out in the sense that they still have 196 seats. In um, That does mean that theoretically uh, they could also build a coalition if all of a sudden the smaller parties would actually prefer to work with them. Uh, but it would be very badly perceived by the German population because there is a sense of fairness uh, that the SPD has won the the has won the election, uh, while as I said before, it's only 1.6 percent. Um, it's 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 not a major difference, but winning is winning and the majority of the Germans according the last polls think that um, uh, with that uh, the SPD has basically the right to have their own candidate uh, leading um, the country. As I remember last time uh, it took about six months of negotiation and talks uh, between the parties in order to confirm Angela Merkel. Um, it can very well uh, take as long this time. Um, it would be a little bit um, bad timing in because there are at the moment so many issues to deal with, um, including the pandemic. Um, it would be a long time without uh, having a, a clear government, but um, that cannot happen before everybody is on board. Um, so what seems to be happening here is that the possible coalition will, will be uh, what is called the traffic light coalition. Uh, those are nicknames because of the colors of the party. Uh, it would be red, yellow, green. That would be SPD with Olaf Scholz as a chancellor, with the green uh, as, uh, as, as the Green Party, and the FDP, which has a yellow color and is a little bit more right-leaning uh, when it comes to, uh, to, to business. Um, from everything I heard and everything I, I, I read, um, that could be actually a very balanced coalition because there would be a party that uh, gives a big importance to uh, climate and, and the environment and the future in that sense. There would be a party that is very socially uh, responsible. That would be the SPD with the main seats and Olaf Scholz as a uh, eventual uh, chancellor, and uh, the FDP uh, that uh, would keep things in balance with being uh, also um, um, very pro-businesses. Um, Plenty of other coalitions are possible, like I think another four, because I mean, one can play with all these numbers and the numbers of seats. The most important thing is to uh, reach the 368. Uh, but the traffic light um, coalition seems at the moment one that is uh, has a very good chance to, uh, to come to... Um, uh, to lead um, Germany for the next uh, few years. Um, to be continued. Thank you very much, Marilla Rastroffer, over there. My pleasure.